and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. So, uh, giveaway, live giveaway went really well. I had a lot of fun with all you crazy cats. Uh, we got to do that again sometime. But uh, today, I wanted to go through some stuff that I got this weekend. I went a little crazy, wife. I don't know. Don't, uh -oh. don't, don't. Yeah, don't check the bank account yet. All right, because you might not be very happy what oh, you no. what you see. But, but, okay. Rest assured. This is all good stuff, and it's only going to go up, up, up in value. Okay. I have no idea what he got. <laughs> you, you're right. You have. You don't know. Any, uh, you, you don't know any of the stuff that I got. Correct. Okay. Okay. I didn't mention it, so it's a surprise to you too. So good. All right. So here is. So I went to Target, went to the Lego store, and then I had my buddy Sean, and he found me something too that I'm really, really excited about. So I'm just going to go over some of this stuff right here, starting with the stuff that. I guess people are the least interested in, or maybe not, I don't know, maybe you find all this stuff interesting too. So let's go through it. And the first one is this, Magneto Blacklight Funko Pop, oh, okay? Cool. This is a Blacklight Pop, it uh, it shines in black light. It is uh, my favorite character from the X-Men franchise, okay? My my fellow Jew, my, my Paisano right here, Mr. Magneto, okay? I gotta get this guy, I gotta always represent uh, with Magneto, and this guy's gonna go. It's gonna go into the into the case. I'm really excited about him. Although it's I the hope black, black light glow the case. black light glow case. Yes. Um. Uh. You know what? I missed the boat on a lot of the, these black lights. I just don't know how deep I'm gonna get into this. But when I saw Mr. Mags here, I was like, I gotta get him. Okay. That's that's that that is a lot. Then there's more Funko Pops, but these I'm really excited about because these. I was looking forward to for a really long time. These Funko Pops right here dealt with, I guess, some crazy licensing issue that delayed it and delayed it and delayed it, but they are here on shelves. Is it the Seinfeld it, Pops? It, it's the Seinfeld Pops. Wife, you blew the, you blew the surprise, but yes, uh -oh, it's the sorry. Seinfeld Pops, yes. I just my, know by your description. My, <laughs> my wife... You, it's like you yelled, you told the guy about the surprise party before he, got, before he came in the door. But uh, it's all right. It, it's just, you're very intuitive in terms of what I'm looking for. And yes, the Seinfeld pop. So I got the core four. Now they did have Newman and they had the Soup Nazi. I passed on that for now, but I'm going to probably go in. Although I think the Soup Nazi had like a deluxe edition or a different edition with the Soup Ladle, I think. Um, but And they don't call him the Soup Nazi, by the way. They call him Yev Kassem. Uh, but sure. So then you get you got Jerry. Hey, I'm a, I'm a pop, a Funko pop. Uh, you got Jerry. Then you get uh, Kramer right here. Then you get, you get Elaine. You get old school Elaine when she was kind of geeky. And then you get my favorite character, George Costanza. Okay, can't stand you. Uh, really, really excited to open these up. I think those might go... In the primary set, what do you think? Yeah, I the, agree. This is sign, and and I might be all in on this line. This is Seinfeld. Okay, this speaks to. There's a lot of Jewish themed thing uh, uh, stuff that I got. This Magneto, Seinfeld. I mean, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to get too deep into that, but I mean, I got it. This is this is this is a part of my soul right here. So Seinfeld Funko Pops. Very very excited for these. So I'll open these guys up at some point. So we'll put those aside. Now, some Masters of the Universe stuff that I got, um, and uh, what's, what should I do? For, so these two right here, I got the Battle Armor Skeletor, okay? I've had the Battle Armor He-Man for, uh, for a minute, uh, could not find this bad boy, uh, but luckily, this is one of these cases where I, was, I went into Target, and a dude was, a Target dude was stocking the shelves, and he had one of these, so I was like, can I get that? So I think I got lucky with this because I only saw that he had like two of them, so I got one, and uh, hopefully some lucky guy got the other one. So Battle Armor Skeletor, and then my guy, you can't have Battle Armor Skeletor without Buzzsaw Hordak, okay? So Buzzsaw Hordak, I'm a big, big Hordak fan. This is sort of the deluxe version of, uh, of Hordak and Sawblade bursts out of his chest it's kind of like the movie alien it just pops out there uh retro play all that he's got the smiling head and so very very excited about this as well i like the back art look how he's just kicking he-man's ass with the uh with saw blade um so yes and then my guy sean was able to get me this this one i'm going to review soon i'm super excited about this because this is the skelly god this is the 
first figure from the new Masters of the Universe Revelations line of, uh, it's the Netflix series that's coming out, Masters of the Universe Revelations. And this is the new, uh, the new figure of Skelegod. We'll do a review just on him. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, here's the back of that. I am super excited about this. Um, this guy in person is a lot cooler than what the pics look, by the way. Just FYI, not trying to entice anybody, but, uh, but Skelegod. And then I got one more. Okay, do you know what this one is? It's a Lego. It is a Lego. Do you know what the Lego is? Is it Sesame Street? It is not Sesame Street, but it is a street. Okay, so I'm going to go through it right now. So here it is. It's giant. And uh, I did get a free gift. So the free gift, by the way, is a little McLaren. Okay, so that's cool. You're into cars. I'm not that into cars. But the main, the main thing right here. Look at this. Look at the size of this thing. This is a big set, okay? I don't know if anybody can guess what it is just based on dimensions and size. Do you want to throw out another guess? Hmm. You know, I'm drawing blanks. You're drawing blanks? It's the Seinfeld apartment. No, there's no Seinfeld apartment. Although, I would buy the shit out of a Seinfeld apartment say, Lego. Uh, but this is, drumroll, the Daily Bugle from oh, Spider-Man. Wow, that is really cool. So I saw this set and I'm a huge Spider-Man fan and I was like, you know what? If I get this set, I don't think I need to really get another Spider-Man set. This says it all right here. It costs 300, 300, 350? I, I already forgot. I already forgot how much I spent, but I just fell in love with this thing. This Look at this. 3,772 pieces. 3,772 pieces. It comes with... Uh, so, first of all, it's obviously the building of the Daily Bugle. But, like, a real building. It's not like the tiny one-story one that they did. This is like an actual, you know, uh, skyscraper-like building. Obviously, it's not that tall. But uh, with the fire escapes and all that. And now you can kind of see the back. You get the back of it, and we'll go over who it comes with, okay? So, you get the... Uh, you know, just the back of the building. And there's so much room. The reason why I wanted this, the reason why I think this is gonna be so cool is now I can go back and I'm gonna pick up every Spider-Man Lego villain or whatever that I wanted. And I'm going to just put them on this display. It's gonna be the all sort of inclusive Spider-Man Mythos set. Um, that way it doesn't take up too much room. I mean, I have this spot, but I'm just gonna put everything Spider-Man related right here. And so you have uh, all the all the different uh, rooms here. And then in terms of like who it comes with, holy crap, look at it right here. So, ah, uh, so you got my guy, Frank Castle, the Punisher, uh, starting top left. You got Daredevil, you got Mysterio, uh, you got Blade, you got Doc Ock. This is a different Dr. Octopus. You got Venom and Carnage, you gotta have those guys. You got Mr. Peter Parker. You got Aunt May, you got Gwen Stacy, R.I.P. You got Miles Morales, man. Miles fucking Morales, okay? You got uh, Gwen, uh, spy, uh, the, uh, the uh, no, what is this? Ghost Spider, This, but it's, it's Gwen. Um, then you get uh, uh, Firestar, you get the Spider Pig. You remember Spider Pig from the uh, Spider-Verse movie? Yes. You get him. Uh, you get Miss Black Cat by Felicia. You get... Uh, 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 Betty, Betty Brandt, you got J. Jonah Jameson. Look how awesome this J. Jonah is. Um, you get, uh, what is this? Fuck, I can't even see. Uh, ben, uh, Ben Ulrich. You get Robbie Robertson. You get Ron Barney. You get, uh, Bernie the cab driver. I guess he's a cab driver. I like his hat. Uh, you get, uh, you get Amber Grant. You get the green fucking goblin right here. Green goblin. Always wanted a Green Goblin Lego, never got one. And then you get uh, Sandman, and then you get um, you get Spider Man, of course. You gotta have Spider Man. So, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is now finding some of the other Legos from the Spider Man uh, universe that I don't have. So, who do I not have? I need my guy Craven. Now I know Craven came in this um, bridge set, which is expensive. I, I don't think I'm gonna get the bridge set. I'm just gonna try to find him. So I'll get Craven. I probably pay like 25, maybe 30 bucks for him. 
I think I'm going to get the original Doc Gock. I, got a, I have a Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin's going to go on here. I have a Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's going to be going up the building. I don't know if you knew that, wife. He's going to be like just kind of like rocketing up vertically. Was it Ghost Rider a custom? No. Well, we have a custom Ghost Rider, but I also have the real Ghost Rider that oh, actually nice. came out. So he's going to be doing all kinds of shit. It's not just going to be Spider-Man. You get some Ghost Rider in there, too. Um, who else? I have a Deadpool. This is going to be like the thing. It's going to be like the Spider-Man. I know Deadpool's not part of Spider-Man, but um, this is just going to be my big, all-inclusive sort of Spider-Man uh, uh, melee. So I'm so excited about this. I, I, I saw this and I kind of fell in love with it. I, I, you know, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. I love the games. I love the Spider-Verse. I love all the Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man, he does whatever a spider can. I don't know if you knew that, but, uh, but that's it. That's all the stuff that I got. All this crazy loot, Masterverse, Skelegod, uh, Magneto, uh, the Seinfelds, the, 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 the Master Universe Origins. It's a good weekend, right? I'd say it's a good weekend. Yeah. So, um, so that's it. So uh, I'll do a video opening up the Skelegod, and then at some point I'm gonna build this too. And I'm gonna do my whole, uh, uh, my whole display too. I feel like I'm missing some Sinister Six villains and I can't remember who it was. Did it come with, yeah, it does come with the Sandman. I'm already forgetting who it comes with. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so that's it. Let me know what you guys think about this, I would say, epic weekend haul. Uh, uh, I, I'm gonna have to go hibernate now because I think I spent way too much money. Uh, but uh, I'm very, very excited. I'm a kid in a candy store. So that's it. Give us a like, uh, drop us a comment. Uh, hit the subscribe button, please, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.